All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Kodobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the, oh boy, a mod I'm probably not going to pronounce correctly, the Xenion 2 Satellite Mod, which is being made by form user Akino. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a pre-built all-in-one satellite, which is based off of the real-world Xenion 2 satellites that are an experimental internet community communication uh, network of things being made by the Chinese. So pretty cool. I li always like looking at real world stuff because it's a nice little glimpse as to what's really out there in the world. So let's uh, jump into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what we do get here. Now let's grab a Mark 1 command pod for size comparison's sake. And we won't bother with the mod filter because this is just a one part mod, but that one part is pretty darn cool. And that is, of course, the Xingyun 2 satellite, which, as mentioned, is an all in one pre built satellite and is, of course, an unmanned command pod with a built in data transmitter, reaction wheel, SAS, a separator with one ejection force, a battery holding 50 electric charge, and three separate deployable solar panels, which all together will produce for you 3.8 electric charge per second. And if we just pop this thing right on top there, you can see it's a pretty small satellite overall, being a bit smaller than the Mark 1-2, or the just regular Mark 1 command pod here. And apparently, at least in, parenth or in uh, brackets here, it is real size of that satellite, which is kind of neat. And again, like I said, it's meant to be a uh, sort of experimental Chinese satellite for Internet of Things communication. And it just looks great. This is a very well-made part. I did look up some images of this and couldn't find many, but it does seem to look pretty close there, which is always nice. And there's just a load of great detailing on this, both modeling-wise, texturing-wise, and just a lot of neat little bits and bobs to it. Now let's take a look at some of its primary features, and first of all, it does, as I did mention, have a built-in separator, and that is right there at the bottom. Yeah, you got that nice little bit so you can easily attach it to your rockets heading on up into orbit. Now, as for the solar panels I mentioned, they're quite cool. Now, there are three of them, and the smaller ones here on either side are going to be the ones only producing one electric charge per second for each of them, and this larger panel on the back is going to be producing for you 1.8, giving you that combined 3.8 per second I did mention a moment ago. And now they don't stay hooked to the sides of this thing. I mean, you could, but if you right click, you can rotate the solar panels and pop them on down so that you can have all three of them pointing over at the sun to get the maximum exposure and maximum amount of power, which is pretty neat. Now, another fun part when you do expand that animation, uh, watch that little antenna dish looking thing right there. It folds in as well. It just pops right on out, ready to be used, which is pretty cool. And again, there's just a lot of great detail for this. You know, when you have it all enclosed up, you'd see the cool detailing here, but then, you know, the rest is just sort of the big solar panels. But you pop that down and you just see all the little detailing done on either side of this. Now, the back is a bit plain, but, you know, still nice bolt work there, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, just all in all, it is a very cool satellite with plenty of options for sending it up into orbit. You could, of course, just have it on one small, easily losable rocket with it on the top. Or, of course, since it is fairly small, you could have it on the side as such with just a load of them stacked on top of one another with some sort of a side attachment there if you so desire. Lots of uh, unique ways you could certainly get this thing into orbit. So let's go and take a look at one up there now to, well, get a sense of it and how it does look in its rightful home of, you know, space. 
good times. Now, being uh, having the built-in data transmitter emitter and all, you can easily make a cool little uh, satellite communication network with these here in-game. Besides just being a cool real-world part to play around with, it is a useful thing for satellite communication, which is always cool. So let's uh, rotate it around to get a little bit better and nicer of a view. Granted, I've just turned it away from its power supply since, you know... The solar panels are over here, but still, it looks pretty darn good there. And yeah, that is the Xingyun 2 satellite. A very cool little part. A simple mod with just one singular thing, but it's a very nice singular thing. And one that I can't wait to play around with more and go out and actually build a cool little satellite network with. I do wish it had, say, some RCS or something for a little bit more control, but I mean... I mean, it really doesn't need it. It's meant to go into place and then using the uh, the SAS and reaction wheel on it to actually do its thing. But, and also, I guess the one of the real world doesn't, so why would I even mention that? I don't know. But that's where my brain went. But yeah, just all in all, it's a pretty cool little thing. So if you'd like to take a look at this satellite for yourself, then you can have a look at the link in the description, as per usual there, my friends. But that is going to be it for this one today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed. You do come back for the next one. Hopefully we'll be looking at another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.